Hello everyone and welcome to the Symmetry tutorial series. This tutorial on dynamic objects will provide you with the necessary steps to create dynamic objects into your project. Dynamic objects provide an easy to use way to add movement to 3D objects as well as text and image labels. You can also create a virtual dynamic object assigned to it. You can then attach object to the virtual dynamic object and it follows the route you have set for it. Now let us begin by going over where to create new dynamic objects can be accessed. To access dynamic objects, in the ribbon menu, click on the Objects tab, and in the Dynamic group, click on one of the following options, Ground Object, Aerial Object, and Move by Time Object. To create a ground object, click on Ground Object in the Dynamic Object property sheet is displayed. If you want to position the dynamic object based on where the mouse is pointing in the 3D window, on the top bar of the Labels property sheet, click XYZ Magnet. If you want to position the object where the mouse is pointing in the 3D window and snap it to another object, click XYZ Snap Magnet. With the cursor in the 3D window, click the mouse to define the first waypoint to the path. Use additional mouse clicks to add waypoints to the path. Then finally right click to complete the route. Then in the property sheet under object options for the object type field select one of the following 3D model, image label, text label, or virtual. If 3D model is selected browse for the required model or image file. If text label is selected enter the desired text string. Next for the motion style field select ground vehicle. Finally when the property sheet is closed the object will start moving along the route that was just created. To create an aerial object, click on Aerial Object and the Dynamic Property Sheet will be displayed. Follow the same steps as before, but change the Motion Style field under Object Settings to Airplane, Helicopter, or Hover. To create dynamic objects that move by time, Click on Move by Time. The Choose Time dialog box in the Dynamic Object property sheet will be displayed. Enter a start time and end time, and click OK. Then you will follow the same steps that were covered before with creating a ground object. We went over how to access dynamic objects and how to create ground, aerial, and objects that move by time. This concludes the tutorial on dynamic objects. For more information, refer to Chapter 13 Objects tab in Symmetry's user manual. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for upcoming tutorials.